All right, this is the virtual audio cable tutorial for the, our uh, BSRP server. It is specifically for the radio host so they can stream music. And uh, yeah, generally they can stream from any source and it's pretty good quality. Uh, hopefully if you have the right uh, setup. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your virtual audio cable folder after you install it. I believe the correct version right now is 4.10. Open it up and then uh, you're gonna wanna run control panel as administrator, yes. Make sure that uh, your cables are set to two. After you set them to two, go ahead and close that. And now, once you go back there, you will see that you have two repeaters, KS and MME. You're gonna want, you're gonna want to launch the MME uh, repeater. You need three of these, so go, go ahead and launch two more. My English is bad, that's okay. And now, in this order, you're gonna want to set up. Uh, your first wave in to your microphone. Now, this part's kind of important. Uh, if you have only a microphone um, and nothing else, uh, it'll help you if you can at least turn that microphone on and off. My current desktop microphone has a switch, so once I start streaming music, if I'm if I don't have my headset in, the music from my speakers does not loop back through the microphone and just cause an endless wave of looping thus making too much noise. If it does not turn off and you do not have a headset, um, this is not gonna work for you. Yeah, there might be another way around it, but I do not know how to use this program that well. So you select your microphone that you wanna use. Mine is the USB one. That's my desktop one that I can turn on and off at any time. Uh, I can also stream through my headset microphone, but there's no point for me. Now you wanna set up line two as uh, your wave out. For your second repeater, you just want to set up line one to line two. And for your third repeater, you want to set up line one to your speakers. After that's done, go ahead, start them all in that order. Now you go down to your uh, audio options, right click, click on playback devices. You'll see that speakers are your uh, default selection. You want to set line one as your default selection. Click on recording, go all the way down and set line two as your default selection. Click OK. And now you are ready to launch Gmod with these options selected. Alrighty. So now that I'm on the server, I'm outside the map just so I don't bother anybody. The uh, DJ position's taken, so I'm just gonna sit out here. Um, you are ready to stream music. What you do is you just minimize the game, pick your source, um, whether it's from your personal library or YouTube or any other website you want to stream music from. And to do that, you, you can, uh, once you start playing, you can hold down your microphone and you can hold it down all day and that sucks, but the best way is to bring down your console and just simply type plus voice record. Bam, your mic stays up, you don't have to touch your keyboard or anything. Uh, you can move around, you can freely talk to people. No one heard that. Uh, I recommend uh, due to Gmod's poor audio quality as it is, especially when it comes to streaming. Uh, what I personally use on YouTube is I set the... I don't use it, I do this. I set the volume down about halfway, and that usually streams the music to the best quality I can get. You can lower it uh, less than half, and you'll be a bit quieter. And of course, that's kind of... It'll be better quality, but also to the benefit of more players. Uh, a lot of people on the server, especially if you look at this map, it's kind of small. They don't like hearing the radio host low time. Alrighty. Uh, so, when you start streaming, uh, you can turn your microphone off and bam, it'll still play the music just fine. And if you want to talk, you just turn your microphone back on and start yapping away.